Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another tutorial. Y'all, this is a long awaited um, video. Actually, I had been did this tutorial, but when I went to upload it, it didn't have no sound. So, we are doing, if you see what's out, you already know. Drinking apples, infused apples, whatever you want to call it, that's what it is. And I'm using the um, Ciroc limited edition the black um, raspberry and they come in a case at my local store you can get them in a case of 15 and i think this box was like 36 35 somewhere long now for 15 other bottles and it's cheaper to just get the case than go and get let's say if you need 12 individual bottles because i think here they like 374 for a bottle but anyway let's get to it what are you going to need is any mini liquor bottle of choice or whatever your customers want or whatever but um you're going to need your apples of course which i had mine cleaning for this the what third day they've been cleaning the second day third day one of them but um and what else you gonna need the liquor bottles the apples you're gonna need your um mixture your candy mix of course we're gonna get into that after i show you how to apply the bottles inside the apple okay you're gonna take your apple in your bottle and you can either um stand yours the way you want to stand them but i find um just like i do my um regular candy apples i'm sticking them in the opposite end I'm sticking them in the bottom. This is the top of the apple, but I use the bottom because they have that flat surface, so it is um sit good. So that's the same way I'm gonna do with the um infused apples. You're just gonna take it, take your bottle, put your apple on top of the bottle, and you're just gonna um push down to secure in the apple. The bottle is secure inside the um, apple. And there you go. Same way with this one. Gonna hold it. You're gonna need some um, arm strength to push. And you're just gonna push it in. Like so. That's all you do. And I'm just turning mine so it can be faced the right way. You want to do that to all of them because that way you know which one, which end is your, which end is your front and which is the back. Okay, so I'm going to get my mess cleaned up, but this is how you apply the bottles to the apples. So I'm going to get all my mess cleaned up and I'll be back to go over the mix. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Look, um, I forgot to tell y'all, you, you're going to need a paper towel. I don't know if I mentioned it in the first part or what, but you're going to need a paper towel. And the paper towel is just like when you're putting your straw in, the juices from the apple, when you insert the straw, it comes up. So that's the same thing you want to do here. Just take it and wipe it around. And another thing, this is what I do when I bring when I get my liquor bottles. I bring them home and I clean them because I I mean I don't know if it's OCD or what, but I clean them because hands been touching them and I'm serving this to, I'm serving this to people and they say cleanliness is the next next thing to God in this so hey. But um, I wouldn't want nobody to, you know, pick up some straight out the store and insert it in something I'm, that I'm going to be drinking from and eating from. So just make sure you clean the bottles. And I'm also going to just stand mine up like this and let them hang out like that for a while. So any juices that going to drip or hadn't yet drip, 
I'm gonna let it, you know, do that. I'm just cleaning them. While I'm removing the juices from the apple. And y'all, these are some pretty big apples. I don't know why I got them so big, but it is what it is, I guess. And I'm just turning it because it's going to be my front end of my apple. And I don't want my label and my writing to be on the back of the apple. Then if I turn it right here, it just don't stand up good. Okay, I was supposed to have, um, insert these bottles. I always insert them. Like the night before, I'm going to dip them. But I had um, some big orders. And I waited till the last minute to do them. So. You don't have to. But that's just, my, that's just what I prefer to do. Then I'm going to stand them up. I'm going to make sure all of them is my front end. Let that hang out, and I'll be. I'm gonna get this about maybe four to five minutes to an hour. Then I'll be back to um mix my candy, my mix up, and I'm gonna dip them to show you um, the process of dipping them. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, now for the mix. In this spot, I already went ahead and added my four cups of sugar. Now I'm gonna add two cups of Cairo and one cup of water. One and two. Making sure you get all the Cairo off the cup. Because if your um, recipe is not right, it will alter. Um, the mix. So you want to have the exact um, ingredients. Okay, and I'm going to add one cup of water. And it's just faucet water. Back up, put it to the side, and I'm gonna mix this up. And you want to mix it good. I'm just scraping the sugar from the inside of the pot. Okay, and once you got it mixed all up, you're gonna put it on the stove between five and six and let it heat to three, 300. And then I'll be back once it reached 300. Okay, I'm getting ready to get my mix off the stove. And 
And I'm just taking it off. And I'm gonna put my thermometer in the sink of warm water. And I'm gonna use, be using pineapple flavoring. I'm gonna add the whole little um, dram. And give it a mix. And in, I'm gonna be making black candy apples. And this is the, um, the color I'm gonna be using. You can get this from Hobby Lobby. But first, I'm gonna add me a drop of yellow. And I'm adding the yellow just to offset the purple dye that's in the black. And this is. And I'm adding a drop, two drops of white. I know you might be saying, oh, you're making yellow candy apples? No, I'm making black. And then I'm going to add the black. You want to add a quite, quite a bit. So, give it a good stir. Okay. I'm going to add my spoon into the water. <coughs> I'm going to take an apple. I'm going to tilt my paint, my pot at an angle like this. Take your apple. And you want to dip it. And pull it out. You don't want to shake it too much because you don't want you don't want your bottle to fall off your apple. I'm just gonna drag it on the pot, the side. I'm gonna hold it upside to um, let it dry. And you're just holding it up because you don't want that big puddle that be up under the apples. Then you're going to place it down like that. You're going to take another one and do the same thing. I got a bubble coming. I'm going to try to pop it. I'm going to place it down. And you're gonna place it down. So I'm gonna get all these dips not and I'll be back. Okay, now that I'm back, 
I done moved from my kitchen into my little work table. And these are the apples. And now I'm just gonna get um add these little bowls. And I got these bowls from um out of Hobby Lobby. Try to tie it like this on it, which is not gonna fit. So what I do is I just clip the little ends off of it. I take a hot glue gun. I just plugged it in because I forgot to plug it up. So it may not be. And I just take the hot glue gun and I just dab, uh -uh, almost bit it on the front. I dab a little on the back, like that. And I just take it and I just place it on the bottle. I mean, this is really how we want to do it. I mean, the creativity and it's endless. I mean, you just really do what's best for you and what works best for you. Making sure you just get all of the stringy pieces that that glue gun need. I actually hate it, y'all. But it do come in handy. I'm just getting a little piece of glue that got some little stringy piece. Because whatever you put out there to people, you want it to be right. Because people may say, oh, um, as long as it, it tastes good, it don't have to look good. No, 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 no. Incorrect. You want something, if, I know me personally, if I'm going to spend my money on something, I want it to look good and I want it to taste good. You give people what you want in return. It's just like the saying, you treat people how you want to be treated. You give people what you want in return. If you don't care about what you're eating, then hey. <laughs> and that's all I'm doing is putting the bowls on. I told you I had broke my tripod last week when I was um, doing that last um, tutorial. And so I got another one. The same one I had is just um, a new one. And I don't know how to take the mic off. I mean, because you catch me. I mean, I don't know. I be breathing out of control, standing up. But the mic, I'm right there to the tripod on the, at the counter. So you catching everything. You listening to everything. But I hope that don't stop y'all from taking away the, um, the tutorial. <clears throat> I hope y'all night is going good. Mine, I haven't slept. I haven't slept in almost 48 hours. I have been doing orders, but trust and believe when I finish, 
I may sleep all day tomorrow. Well, which I know that's impossible because my poor young ain't going. <laughs> And y'all know how it is when y'all have kids, babies. I'm just putting all these little bows, y'all. I should have said I'd be back when I put all these on, but I went to run in my mouth. And I'm sticking this to the bottom, not the apple. And I only um dipped out of the 13 apples I had, I dipped two, four, six, eight, nine apples because I didn't want the other ones to be black. I'm just fixing the bowl. Sometimes these bowls be all um, smushed in the pack, so just have to try to adjust it. I probably should have did that before I stuck it to the bottom, huh? If y'all can't see, I'm really not doing anything. Just putting um, the rest of the bowls on. I think I'm gonna do the other little skulls. Well, I was supposed to do. I was. My plan was to do half and half, half black and half um gold. But when I made that mix, I forgot I was doing half and half. So I really didn't have to make that big pot of mix. Toothpick here for any little, um, any little stringy of that glue I see. I'm gonna just pick it up because don't nobody want to eat glue. I know I don't. And I have a bubble. Yep, I do. It's okay. Sometimes you don't get a bubble. You know? You may get two bubbles. You may get three bubbles. That is okay. I hate to get bubbles, but sometimes things happen. Right now. See Mr. Bubble? <laughs> I'm just standing in on the front of the apple. I mean, I probably would have been in there trying to hurry up and clean another apple. Just taking it out because I cut it too short to where the um this little piece was pokey and it wouldn't um stick. I 
like I said, I'm just taking a toothpick and pulling the um the string. Plus string the pieces from the glue gun. Well, from the glue. And this apple I did not infuse because she won one. I wasn't. So I just printed out this little image. I'm just gonna look. find my front. That's my front. And I'm just gonna stick it to it. Like that. So I had these color balls. And I think I'm gonna use them for my own the gold ones. And I was gonna scatter these apples, but I think they look cute just plain black with the little balls. I try to match it. I think her colors were gold and black. I really could have left the stick on this one. I mean, the sprinkler cord. That's tie. Whatever you call them, my things. And. This is how I did. This one. I just put the little image on and I put a bow right there. how you do infused apples. I think I'm going to come back and show you the gold ones. I might as well. I ain't got nothing else to do. So this is it. This is the um, infused, the black ones. So I'll be back when it's time for me to dip the um the gold ones. I'm not gonna show you how to mix the mix because I mean I just I just went over all that in the first part of this video. But um let's see. Any questions y'all gonna have just leave them in the comments but I, I'll be back to show you the gold ones. But this is it, this is the black ones. So stay tuned for the gold ones. Okay, I'm back. I went out here and I mixed um my gold already and i'm using a roxy rich and a gold from the sugar arts i mi i combined the two together so i did that a while ago just to see if it'll give me the gold that i was looking for and it is all edible and i'm just taking it dabbing it in um in my mix I'm just going over my apple, not um, trying to touch the top of the bottle. And I'm just doing it in a circular motion. When I first put it on, I put it on, just put it in a kind of way. But my finishing touches and just go around in a circular motion like this. And I have to dip it again, but it don't take a lot. Making sure you get all the bottom. I got this brush from Michaels and it's by Wilson. Okay, and I'm gonna take my smaller brush and I'm gonna dip it. 
Then I'm gonna just go around the top of the um, apple from the apple and the um between the apple and the bottle where the apple didn't get covered completely. I'm just going around. I'm going to dip my brush again. I'm just going to circle the motion. You really don't have me. You, you paint it the way you want to. But I just find it work best for me like this. I'm talking low, please bear with me, but because my baby is asleep, everybody asleep really, well everybody is asleep, and I never saw a four-year-old who don't like to sleep, so honey, when she sleep, I let her sleep, so that's why I'm talking a little low, because I'm right here in her room, it's like, a couple of um, steps away. Don't forget to turn the apple so you can get the bottom. And y'all, I don't know why I didn't dip all these apples black and just paint them. I don't know. That was really um extra work on me that I didn't even have to do. I'm just going over where the color of the apple. Y'all, if y'all hear noise, that's my um, AC unit. I'm just going back around. If your brush get um, if it dry out too fast, it'll kind of like leave streaks in your apple. So you want to try to work fast. tonight. I'm just adding some of them extract to it. My brush in. I guess it said gave me um two apples. 
I just don't like the way it's brushing. May have to go get the other one. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the other one because I don't like the way this pressure. Maybe it's just me. Let's just see. go get my other brush. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm just gonna spray some of this. And this is also by um, Rock Sandwich. Just to give it like a shimmer. And all this is edible. Rocks and Rich Products and um, the Sugar Arts. Just wiping my hands from this gold. Okay, I'm gonna get this area cleaned up and I'll be back. Okay, now I'm just gonna be adding the bowls like I did to the um the last ones. And I'm just gonna cut the um twist tie part off them all. Take my glue gun and the back of it. So I'm gonna put a dab of glue and I'm just gonna add it to the bottom of that one. Kind of remind me of um, nail polish bottles. <laughs> I don't know, but it just does. And remember, I'm adding this, um, this bowl to glue. 
to the bottom and not the apple. And there you have them. So I'm going to get it all set up and take a picture. And that's all. I mean, <clears throat> what we um, used in this video, we used um, the mini bottles, of course, apples. Um, you need a silicone mat or a tray. Four cups sugar, two cups water. Four cups sugar, two cup Cairo, one cup water. And um, a thermometer. Um, flavoring of choice. You don't have to use flavoring. It's optional. But um, it do give it a good taste. Um, what else we use? White food coloring. I mean, it's all in the video. Um, trying to give you the basics. The goal, I will... Um, yeah, I'm so bad about putting stuff in the description box. Please don't give me, but I'm going to try. I'll just be trying to get it upload and just continue with my day. But um, that's about it. So I'm going to get it set up. And I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like. And for all newcomers, um, so I cannot talk, y'all. <laughs> I cannot talk. I want to start the video over, but it is what it is. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new. And if you're not new, don't forget to hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Um, <laughs> um what else? Y'all stay blessed, stay focused. And like always, um, never let nobody tell you what you can't do or that the business you're in is not for you. I mean, you're going to have haters. You're going to have you're gonna have all kind of people coming at you, all kind of directions. You know, the devil is busy. So um, just try not to let it distract you from your, um, your goal and your focus. Um, stay humble. Stay appreciative. Um, just to make sure you have a good support system. And if you don't, I mean, just do the best you can for you, you know. Um, until my next tutorial, y'all stay blessed. And I will see you later. Good night. I just wanted to show you the little quick setup when I set them up. Those are the apples. Good night.